Hi everybody, this is Chels, or I guess my Instagram handle is Magical Girl Chels. I've never done one of these before, but today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Um, and today I'm going to be featuring Claw Machine Master. This is my prize box. Uh, Claw Machine Master is a Japanese uh, online crane game. Uh, you can find the app in the App Store. And yeah, you basically play uh, Japanese claws online. They have the UFO catchers. Um, they have some games that are like the little hook and you have to... I don't know, if anyone follows some of this stuff, you probably would catch on. But there's little hooks, you have to hook stuff. Um, you have to wiggle things forward. Kind of the classic um, games that you would see in Japan. Um, as well as the occasional triple claw catcher. It's more like the western um, sort of style. So yeah, I dappled in this app during COVID. Um, boredom is, was a reason, of course. Um, and I got really lucky and um, won three prizes with the three play tickets you received for joining. Um, and yeah, and shipping was a bit expensive. So at that point, I ended up getting buying uh, $60 of plays, which included a free play ticket, given that I already won some prizes that I didn't mind paying $60 for, worst case. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you everything that I won um, in $60 Canadian. And at the end, I'm going to rate the app and uh, give some more thoughts that I had about it. All right. So yeah, we got our box. Just here we are. Our box is open. Very excited. I waited a really long time for this package. It shipped May 11th. Travel by sea mail. And it just arrived at my doorstep today, so let's see what's inside. Got bubble wrap stuff. Okay, oh yeah. We got a really cute little growlet. I'm gonna take everything out of the bag at the end for better viewing. Oh, he's adorable, I love it. It's a one of my cinnamon rolls. I have a second one coming that completes this set, a uh, pair of two. And this one is a cat cinnamon roll plush. It has a little bow in the back. And you can kind of, I don't know if you can see through the bag, but it's got a very soft, um, furry texture rather than just the kind of typical soft kind of fuzz uh, texture on these kind of plushies. So I'm very excited to take this one out of the bag. This is quite a large figure. It's from Bam Presto. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. That's a Bandai Spirits figure. And that is the box. Where the ring's kind of reflecting into it, my ring light. This one's pretty sick. I believe, if I remember correctly, this figure was listed as 25 centimeters tall, uh, which would make it the biggest figure that I've ever won or would ever have. Though I'm planning on probably selling this one to a true Dragon Ball fan, but it's it's pretty dope. Blood of Science Dragon Ball Z Special. This one's also very cool. I like all the, I'll tilt it this way, all the dimension as you can see in the hair in the photo. It's very cool. This is also a Bandai Ban Presto figure. It's pretty awesome as well. He's got a halo too, which is pretty sick. This is one that I'm keeping for sure. So this is a ReZero Rem figure. Rem is very popular in Japan, apparently. And this is her in her maid outfit. And she's holding two cats, as you can see. There's a black cat on the top of her head and a little white one in her arms. It's very cute. And this is the position that she's standing in. This is very cute. I honestly haven't really seen any ReZero, um, but I saw this figure. Um, she's obviously got a very adorable, very adorable kawaii, as I'd say, eyes, um, hair look. I love cats, so I couldn't help but go for this one and I'm really glad it worked out. Okay. Hello everyone, we are back. It is the next day and our second Claw Machine Master order has arrived. We have our box open. All ready to go, so let's see what's inside. And we got our second Kitty Cat Cinema Roll plush, the second of the pair. Very, very, very cute. 
very soft. It's got the little bow on the end as well. Look at that little face, a little sleepy face. So cute. I was very excited about this one, so I am glad it arrived safely. Let's see what's next. A mini plush. Oh, this one is adorable as well. It's a little Mudkip. Fun fact, Mudkip is forever my favorite starter Pokemon. He's my OG buddy. Started my Pokemon journey with him. And I really like this one as well. So you can kind of maybe see a little bit there. Um, there's a little loop so you can hang him um, like off of a mirror in your car or off of a bag or something. So I think I'm definitely probably going to put him um, on a car mirror for that. He's adorable. Oh, I was really excited about this one too. And this one is even cuter than the pictures. It's a Halloween Eevee. My first Pokemon Halloween plush, actually. It's just a little guy. And as you can see, he's got a little bow. Little bow on there. And he's a vampire. He's got a little vampire cape. And he's ready for Halloween. And as we're approaching the fall season, this is a very appropriate plush for that. <laughs> um, this is a shiny Celebi plush, actually. Um, and this is my first branded, uh, true, uh, Bandai shiny Pokemon plush. You can see the Dragonair in the corner. That is, uh, let's just call it a fan-made plush. Yeah, it's a fan-made plush, but this is actually branded. It's a shiny Celebi. Um, I believe it was released as a part of a, like, collection from a movie in Japan that had come out, a Pokemon movie, that there's a shiny Celebi in it. Um, I haven't seen that though. Oh, it says on the tag, Pokemon, the movie, Coco. What says on the tag over here? Look at this Charmander, guys. Seriously, he's huge. And he's nibbling on a berry. Look at that. He's quite, he's got a lot of weight to him as well. He's got the big eyes and he's got a little green, little green snap. Little side shot for you. This little tail from the back. Yeah, and this is also a Bondi Spirits plush as well. This one is absolutely massive and you can see in the back there my shelves are loaded so ask me how I'm gonna fit these guys and I I couldn't tell you honestly. Our last and possibly best plush depends who you are but this one was definitely one of the ones I was most looking forward to from this order. It's also a special movie release plush and it is glorious. It is, this is a large Luna from Sailor Moon cat plush, and it was from Sailor Moon Eternal, I believe. Um, yep, so it's on the tag. It's a Ban Presto plush, and yeah, it was released especially for the movie. We can get a better look here. She's quite big. She's quite tall. I think this is about maybe 40 centimeters. I don't remember what it had said online about it, and... My estimating isn't too great, but yeah, there she is. And I really love her blue eyes. Um, typically in the shows, her eyes are red, um, which is fine, but I've never, I think when I first saw this plush, I guess I was gonna say, I've never seen one with blue eyes before. Um, but I had tried to win this on Tariba, but the queue was always full and whoever went first just kept going till they got it. And there's no hope for me, but I got some redemption on this guy, kind of like the, the Growlithe that I had in the first box. Got another chance and I love her. So now that we are finished opening, I'm going to unwrap these plush so we can get a better look at each one. Hey everyone, as you can see, just unwrapped the plushies that we got in our first of two orders from Claw Machine Master. So we got our little Growlithe, you can get a kind of get a better look at him here. You can see he's got Kind of a, a fuzzy sort of towel like but softer texture it's very cute i've been eyeing this plush on tariba for a few months and just couldn't get it but luckily i had some kind of redemption what's his side view his tail shaky and he has little toe beans he's got little feet little feet pads there it's very 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 cute so i love this one definitely gonna keep him all right, and then our next blush, little blushy, is the Bulbasaur. I'm so psyched about this one. Um, I don't think Bulbasaur gets enough love, um, as he should. He's a very sweet boy. 
and he's so 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 soft oh my gosh like my hands feel warm just holding him right now like if you need a warm hug on a cold day this Bulbasaur can definitely help you out and the bulb is fuzzy it's got little claws you can see that's about his size it's very 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 nice I this is definitely in my top 10 for all my plush that I have so I love this one quite a bit all right and we also have our first cinema roll first of two as I was able to get lucky and win um, the set um, it's very 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 soft as well it's kind of a very interesting texture um, I'm not sure if you can really see it up close, but it's kind of got this furry texture as well. Um, so you can kind of see it, the, the fluff and the fur go up and down when you pull your hand across. Um, she's got a little bow on the back. It's a little cat cinema roll. The blush on the cheeks is very cute as well, and it's quite a nice size, so I do like this plush. This is our rem, our first rem figure. I'm gonna do a spin for you. She's very pretty. I do quite like this figure a lot, especially because of the cats. Put her on here. Give you a better look. You can see the cat sleep in there. The cat on her head. And that's the way her foot is secured to the base of the figure, which is pretty awesome. You can see it's a, what is it? It's a, I cannot read that of course, but it's got Charmander on the tag. And it is a licensed Bandai product. We're probably going to sit him on the chair, honestly, because he's not really, you're facing that way. <laughs> he can't really sit on the table by himself. And we got our very soft cinema roll cat plush that we just unboxed as well. It's very, very cute. As you can see, just like the other, extremely soft. You can see that, that soft, furry texture there. Cute bow on the back as well. Adorable, sleepy face. All in all, very nice plush. And we'll do some of our minis here. Halloween Eevee, Vampire Eevee rather. It's got a little cape as well. And it's from a cute little Halloween collection, as you can see on the tag there. It's got all the all the chews on there as well. Evie's just a plus one, I guess, to their little family. This one's adorable. Shiny Celebi, made for the movie Coco. It's also called Coco, not the Disney one though. Don't be confused by that. But yeah, it says on the tag, Pokemon the movie Coco with a K. Yeah, and it's very cute. Fits in the size of your palm, little wings. Very soft, actually. Surprisingly soft. It, it's a bit softer than the typical plush, prize plush material that you get that's just very flat. This is flat, but it has this uh, extra velvety sort of softness to it. That's quite nice. And then we got our mud cap dangle by his little keychain. Very, very cute. He also doesn't really sit up very well, so I kind of had to balance him against Luna there, but, but yeah, I'm really loving this plush as well. And it is from um, another miniature keychain collection that had, uh, I guess, Poliwag, Ampharios, and Melodic as well as you can see on the tag. Yeah, he's, I'm just gonna lay him down there. And then of course we have our Luna. She is big and beautiful. She's got a floppy ear, but she was tucked into a bag for like four months. So you can understand why it is that way. But she's also kind of similar to Celebi in that she's like you can kind of see by the way I'm running my hand up and down the fur 
there that it is short but it's very soft and kind of velvety but it's all, all in all this is an absolutely gorgeous plush as well big fan of this one all right so now I'm going to put all my prizes together um, for both prize orders and I'll give my honest review about uh, Claw Machine Master. All right, as you can see everyone, these are all the prizes that we accumulated playing the Japanese Claw Machine app, Claw Machine Masters, available on the App Store. Um, this is not sponsored, I'm just, I'm just sharing that information. Now, we're going to talk about cost, um, gameplay experience, um, and shipping time um, to Canada um, for any Canadian players who can get a sense of how long it might take for your order to get here. Uh, so for cost, um, it does cost a minimum of $30 to play. It's not quite like Tariba where you can just buy like $5.99 of plays at a time. This you have to spend a bit more, but they often do have a promotion where you get I think they said times 200% more tokens um, so you do get not a too you know not too bad like a fairly good amount of um, points to play with um, yeah and each machine isn't it's, you know costs a bit to play I don't I'd say each plays a little bit less per play than Tariba but really again depends on the prize that you're going for um, how much they ask for to play play for that item um but yeah so I ended up spending $60 um which got me Canadian by the way which got me um a free play a free sorry free shipping ticket um and a bunch of credits to play with so with these games you do as much as it hurts you have to prepare that you might not win so you have to only spend what you're really willing to spend um going into it and uh to play responsibly since this is kind of gambling um <laughs> But yeah, so $60 um, did get me quite a bit of plays. They did have a promotion going on. Where you got times 200% um, credits for the same amount of money. And they also did have a promo where if you won a prize once a day, like say it's Friday today, I won my first prize of the day, they would give you free three play tickets um, to play with. And I got quite lucky in the two Dragon Ball figures, um, I won from that combo. I had used a free play ticket from the day before um, and won my first one of the day. And then it gave me three more tickets Then I immediately won the next figure. So I got insanely lucky with that. Uh, I'd say it is worth it um, because the machines are not too rigged, but I'm going to get more into that um, in a couple minutes here. Um, and the prizes are legit. Um, they are branded branded tags it is a legitimate app so if anyone's wondering it is not a scam and I want to make sure to tell people that because when I was going in and playing the app for the first time there weren't really many reviews on it I didn't really see anything much on YouTube about it I was a little bit nervous um so yeah I hope this video helps you uh decide that it might or might not be worth playing this game and to at least know that it is not a scam they're not stealing your info and you will actually get sent your prize if you do win it and you do ship it out. So in terms of play, like I just said, the, the games, generally, they're not rigged. I'm going to make that very clear. Not rigged. Um, I think this is the closest experience you could get to playing in an arcade in Japan. At least as far as I've seen. I haven't been, but I've watched a lot of YouTubers and arcade vloggers um, play claw machines in some of the large... Uh, Japanese arcades in Japan um, where if there's a setup where a prize is on between bars or whatnot like a, a figure box it can move it quite a bit and I'd say the same goes for this app you can make huge movement and you can definitely if you're skilled enough and patient you can definitely get your money's worth um, with what you spend on the app um, so yeah generally not rigged definitely be patient though um, watch other people play see how many plays it took maybe from reset for them to get it to decide for you if it's worth it or not especially if it's a prize you really want um, and you don't want to spend that much money make sure you strategize about it um, the only games that are payout based are the triple claw catchers and they're super appealing because it's just one cube um, sitting in the machine um, and you get to it's not like the ufos you only get to move right once and back once you can readjust 
Um, so when you get different camera angles as well, which helps make it really easy, but it will, it's not ready to pay out, it will drop the prize. I think I did get away with winning one prize when it wasn't quite paid out yet, um, but it was right next to the shoot and it bounced off the rim and went in, so I got really lucky on that, but be wary of those. Um, I looked at the app more recently, just kind of for fun again, and uh, saw someone like put in about 30 tries on a triple claw and it didn't pay out once. So they may have upped, um, or sorry, rather lowered the payout rate for those machines. So tread lightly if you're going to go after the triple claws. Um, so yeah, hopefully that part of the review helps in terms of play. If you want a comparison to Tariba, um, this is way less rigged, way less rigged than Tariba. So if you play both apps, you're considering playing this game, hopefully that comparison helps you um, to get a sense of which is the best and which is more worth it especially now since Tariba makes you pay for shipping. Um, if you're already having to spend that amount of money just to ship a prize, you know, maybe it's worth it playing an app that actually gives you a skill opportunity, right? And doesn't cost you like 40 attempts. So yeah, now in terms of um, mailing time the, and shipping time, the prize is shipped out a week after I made my order, which was quite impressive compared to Tariba, especially I still have prizes from last November. And for context, it's currently almost September 2021. Um, still haven't shipped yet. And uh, I was shocked, especially with this being such a large order, um, that it shipped out so quickly. Um, at the time, though, of shipping, Japan's only sending sea mail to Canada. So it did take about three months and 12 days for my prizes to get to my doorstep um, from the moment of shipment. So if it is sea mail, make sure, you know, you're checking Japan Post to see if it is sea mail or not, or if it's coming EMS. Um, how long it will take. They have estimates generally on their website as well, so you can get a sense of that. But yeah, it took three months, 10 days. I had to be very, very patient for this. But yeah, I'm extremely happy with my experience overall using this app. You can contact their customer service um, in their chat and they reply probably within 15 minutes. Um, if you have, you know, any pressing questions, they can kind of help help resolve and also if your claw malfunctions during play and you send the replay video to them um if it's something that they do cover like the claw a claw glitch they will give you your credits back again very quickly um they always have someone on there checking so i'd say overall i've had a very positive experience with this app um with customer service um i have no regrets for <laughs> putting in 60 bucks and, and, you know, being strategic and patient, getting these great prizes and they're all legitimate. So yeah, I hope this review helps you. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, what item you liked the most. Um, and yeah, so I really hope this helps. All right. Now stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you again sometime. Bye.